Come on, Stuart, pick up your cell phone. Come on, darling, answer. Oh. This means you're on your way to St. Louis. Oh, Dixie. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, I should have called before I came by, but I just, I need to see Stuart. Is he here? No, no, he's not. He, uh, he went to the movies. Oh, the movies? By himself? I didn't feel like going. I was tired. Oh, are you sick? No, no, I'm fine. I'll tell Stuart you stop by. Well, actually, um, you know, while I'm here, maybe, maybe you can help me. Help you with what? I need to know what Tad and Liza are up to. It was the phone call last night that convinced me, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that Adam Chandler has finally snapped. At first, he was calm, reasonable. But within a moment, he was ranting at me like some kind of freak, some kind of madman, threatening me and the lives of my family. This is outrageous. What has happened to Adam? He sounds very unstable. No, no, no. It's much more serious than that. I'm afraid that Adam Chandler has completely lost his grip on reality. No, wait, wait, we can take action. Look, Liza Look, I already... <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Well, uh, you all know me. I, I'm Stuart Chandler. Yes. And I need to uh, to speak to you. I, I don't know what Tad has been telling you, but but I do know that Tad is out to hurt my brother Adam. This is most unusual. Uh, no, no, I'd like to hear what he has to say. No, no, wait, wait a minute. Stuart, your loyalty to your brother is admirable, but I don't think this board meeting has anything to do with you. It's not your concern. Oh, no, no, yes, it is my concern, because I think all of these people want to know the truth. Don't you? Nice try. But I know what you're up to. And it's not going to work. What makes you think Tad and Liza are up to something? Well, you know, that is exactly why I wanted to talk to Stuart, because I know I'd get a straight answer from him. I will not be insulted in my own home, oh, Dixie. Oh, come on, Marion. Tad is helping Liza enact some huge revenge plot against Adam, and I think you know about it. Oh, so you think Liza is the ringleader here and that Tad is some kind of innocent bystander? Is that it? Why is it that every single time Tad and Liza get together involved in a scheme, Liza always gets blamed for it? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You haven't forgiven her for that fling that she had with Tad all that time ago, have you? Well, you should, because she's a different person now. I have made my peace with that incident, Marion. I have other issues with Liza. Good. Fine, because I don't want her blamed for this. Blamed for what? For this plan to destroy Adam. It's very dangerous. And if it blows up in all our faces, I want everyone to know that it was Tad who wanted revenge at all cost. Amy hey, Stewart, it's perfectly obvious that you cannot take responsibility for all of the things that your brother has done. I suppose at first you're going to tell this board that it was you, not Adam, that gave away close to $80 million last Christmas. Well, yeah, it was me. <laughs> You don't think Adam would, would dress up in a dumb Santa Claus suit and give away anything? <laughs> no, no, I gave away the money. Me, me, Stuart. It's a noble effort, Stuart, but it just doesn't jibe with the facts. Adam has already sworn to the district attorney that it was him that gave away those millions, not you. Ted isn't exactly telling you the truth. He's trying to trick you here. You see, he knows he and Adam had a deal. They both dropped the charges against each other so they could get out of jail. Oh, oh okay. Um, just out of curiosity, what would I have that could possibly entice Adam Chandler to, to go along with something like this? Because, uh, well, because I don't know, <laughs> but... But the point is, you all think that Adam has lost his grip because he gave away a fortune. But he didn't do that. He would, he would, he would rather give away his kidneys than give away money. Yes. Well, thank you so much for your input. Now, if you don't mind, we'd like to continue behind closed doors. But you're, 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 you're humoring me now, and, and everybody in town knows how honest I am. I cannot lie. I cannot tell a lie, even to save my own brother. Well, Stuart, no one is questioning your integrity. Well, then, 
I'm saying that Adam Chandler is a good man. He's and he's a smart, brilliant businessman. He's just he's been under a little stress lately. Is that why he attacked me in that jail cell? Is it the stress? Well, maybe you were asking for it, Dad. Well, I, I, uh, I don't mean to disrespect you, Stuart, but uh, nothing you've said makes Adam seem any more sensible or sane. Well, I can prove it. I can prove that Adam did not put on that Santa Claus suit, nor could he put on that Santa Claus suit, and given away scads of money. Why not? Well, Isaac, why don't you tell him? What your mother did? What, what my wife did to Adam? <laughs> That'll convince him. I'm not gonna stand here and deny that that Tad would like to see Adam pay for everything that he's done. Well, then we agree. But Liza does not need any encouragement to strike back at Adam. After what he did to her, stealing her right to choose who's going to be the father of her child, I mean, that is really obviously unspeakable. Naturally, she'd want to pay him back, don't you think? Well, how, please, how do you pay someone back for that? What does a woman do to a man who she's promised her life to, who's done something so despicable? How does she suddenly turn off her feelings for that man? Don't you see what could happen here? No, I don't know what you mean. Liza could lose parts of herself forever, Dixie. I've been trying to make her rethink this, re reconsider this, but, but Tad... Go ahead, say what's on your mind. Tad wants her to hate Adam as much as he does. And I don't think that's possible. He keeps pushing her to be as vindictive as he is. But then, of course, he has nothing to lose here. All right, all right, you've made your point, but... Uh... You know, that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to find out where Tad and Liza are and what they're up to. <sighs> and you're just not going to tell me, are you? It's too late, Dixie. It's probably all over by now. Liza? Go on. T tell them uh, how, how your mother locked Adam in a safe room. <laughs> in the... Adam uh, built a safe room in our house, his house. <laughs> um, he built it to, to, to keep his family safe from, from, from all sorts of stuff that happens every day, uh, uh, terrorist attacks and, and things. <clears throat> but Marion, my wife, uh, got very angry at Adam and locked him in that safe room. <laughs> locked him in for weeks and weeks and, and weeks. So poor Adam had to, 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 the only way he could get out was through a tiny little air duct. Sweetheart. No more. Please. Oh, if, if your mother could hear you calling me sweetheart, she'd, she'd, she'd be very angry at you, Liza. Adam, this is not going to work. Adam. What, are you, what the hell is going on? He's doing it. That's him. He's doing it again. This isn't going to work, darling. What on earth is happening here? Could, could I, could I please speak to my, to, to, to Eliza alone for just, just a moment? No, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this ruse is not something I can be an accomplice to. This, this is not Stuart Chandler. <laughs> this is Adam. What? This is Adam Chandler. <sighs> Liza, uh, these are serious people. You're forgetting that. They, 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 they don't know you're kidding. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. You're getting back at me for that little, little joke I played on you about the clinic? Huh? Well, I, I've apologized for that, Liza, over and over and over. I really thought you'd forgiven me. I'm sorry. I was afraid something like this would happen. <laughs> for reasons that I don't really quite understand, he keeps wanting to fall into... The identity of his more innocent twin brother, Stuart. In these episodes, I don't know how long they last or, or why, really. But I'm really grateful that you had the opportunity to see it with your own eyes after I shared it with you. My husband 
your CEO is incapable of running this company. He, he has completely lost his mind. <laughs> Well, if you're trying to spook me, Marion, it certainly worked. What are you saying? Why? What is too late? Why is... What is oh, Stuart! I'm back. Well, I, I thought you were at the airport. Uh, yeah, hi, Dixie. Uh, mm. Well, they canceled my flight to St. Louis, so I just got a cab home. I thought you said Stuart was at the movie. Oh, uh, weren't huh? you just leaving, Dixie? Oh, uh, no, Dixie, don't go away. You never stay long enough when you visit. Oh, no, it's late. Some would say too late. Stuart, we'll catch up another time, okay? Well, at least let me walk you to your car. Oh, I'm sure Dixie can fend for herself. <laughs> I certainly can. Thanks. Bye, Bye. Dixie. Bye. Bye. Bye, Stuart. Oh! Hey. Come on. Hi. Good night. Hello. Oh, good. Hey, you guys. Hello. Looks like you kept busy. Yeah, we, we did. You know, tomorrow I'll, I'll show you the, the swing knot thing. Um, I'm gonna call it night. I'm getting a little tired. Okay. Catch you later. Okay. Night. Night. Sleep tight. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. Mom. Yeah. Do you remember the time when Dad took me up on his jet? Sure, I do. It's all you talked about for about two weeks. Well, I wasn't really afraid of him that day. I know. I know. It's good you guys can have fun together. Well, maybe I should tell him that. Why do you say that, baby? I think I heard him that day when I told the judge that I was afraid of him. Well, you know, the judge definitely asked you some hard questions, but, you know, you told the truth. That's always the right thing to do. Dad's not all bad, is he? Well, no. No, of course not. Uh, Adam, Adam has some very fine qualities. And he loves you. Very much. You love him too, right? Is, is that all right? Now, Adam, you just, you just take it easy, okay? Now. I, I don't know what to say here. I mean, God only knows how it could have gotten this bad. <laughs> I, I don't believe any of you are, f are actually falling for this. Don't you see what he's doing? He, he's play acting. This is just part of a scheme of this Monty Hall wannabe. <laughs> Monty Hall? Oh, my God, you, you poor man. Oh, oh, God! Oh, he's, he's, he's doing it again! I'm not he's doing it! He's doing it! He's going to kill me! Help! I'm not help! 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 You never mentioned that your husband was violent. Liza, Liza, all right, all right, this has gone far enough. Hold it off. You've given me no choice. You're a danger to yourself, Adam, and you're a danger to other people. I am frightened for my daughter and for myself. I'm having you committed. It's okay that you loved your dad. You got a good heart, Junior. I've been thinking maybe I should spend a little more time with Dad. Is this weekend okay? Well, that's a really great idea, but I don't think this weekend's gonna be good, actually. There's a lot of people who wanna get a piece of your dad right now. I will not be submitted. This is false imprisonment. Where the devil is my lawyer? Adam Barry works for me now. You know that. And he's going through all the right legal channels. You'll get to see a judge momentarily. That's all very clever, lass. But you are the one that's deluded if you think you're going to get away with it. When you're locked in your room at Oak Haven tonight, I hope you can think about all the lives you've hurt and all the hearts you've broken. And you can get better soon. I will only be thinking of one person tonight. And that's the woman I love. Let's go!